Hey, this is a little video on how to use the piano keyboard. In this case, we're going to use the computer keyboard as our piano keyboard to record some chords in Soundtrap. So uh, the first thing is you come up with whatever, whatever chord progression that you like, and you can figure it out if you want to record them all four chords or whatever number of chords you're going to use and just record it all in one pass. Or you could do something called punching in, and that's what I'm going to show you. We're going to record one chord at a time, save, edit, and go back until we get everything exactly the way we like it. So um, first of all, I'm going to save my work how I have it, whatever. You'll have your uh, name of your file. And I'm going to pick the one chord. Uh, if you take a look at our uh, computer keyboard, I created a little overlay, and I found that very helpful to look at what would be the white keys and the black keys. Uh, your computer keyboard uh, configuration might be a little different than mine, but uh, here we are. So I'm going to try one chord in the key of C. It starts on C, um, and I have the triads, root, third, fifth, and that's my chord. So let's just record it. I'm going to add a rhythmic pattern to make it interesting. Done. So I'll stop the recording, and I'll pull in my end marker. Of course, I should save right away. Record, save, edit, save, quantize, save. So I'm going to now um, come in here and quantize by choosing eighth note because I did record indeed close enough to the eighth notes that I wanted to record to. Here's the first beat of the first measure and I could change the grid. So I'm just looking at eighth notes that might be helpful. Um, the first beat, the second beat, this falls on the second half or the and of two, and then right here on the fourth beat. So I'm going to replicate that with my next chord. So I'm going to play a one five and there's my five chord. I'm doing everything in root position. Oops, root third, fifth. So I'll get ready to record. And I'll, uh, don't forget to save after you quantize. And I'll hit the record button. And I'll do the same thing. Stop. Do some editing very quickly. Quantize, edit. And I should have saved first. Always save. Uh, so here we go. And the next chord is, I'm going to do a six chord. Now this gets a little awkward because a six chord is A, C, E, but that's not E on my keyboard. It's up here. So I have to figure that one out. That's one of the reasons why we punch in. It gives me a second to kind of get ready, get set, and then record. And I'll do the same thing. And you guessed Record, oops, save, edit, save, quantize, save, and here we go. And the last chord I'm going to play is, you might have guessed, it's going to be this four chord. So I'll get ready. Uh, let's try that. Record. There we are, and I have this particular progression. And of course, I will save and then edit my work so it's exactly the same as the others. And that's just one particular uh, chord progression. You can create your own, and uh, you can have the four chords right there. And of course, I've slowed the click down to record and have the metronome on. If I want to play this back faster, I most definitely can play it back. But there's my chord progression, and I can work with this, and I can create bass lines out of this. I can create more chords out of this. I can create other things out of my basic chord progression. So we're going to start there. More coming up.